Let's focus on one particular stock that actually came out with better than expected earnings. That was Time Warner earlier today. We are joined now by Brad Adgate. Did I say your name right, Brad? Yes, yes. I actually got it right. I'm usually not good with names. It's my real name, too. Well, all right, we got it right. You are one of the uh, most accurate analysts on Time Warner. Talk to us about the earnings. Well, I think it's really driven by ad sales. It's been a very strong ad marketplace, similar to Comcast and CBS's quarterly earnings reports. It was a very strong upfront marketplace, and this is when marketers buy their advertising time up front. And one of the first things they said in their earnings report call was that, uh, that cable actually got more advertising dollars this year than broadcast now. Networks for the first time ever. The cable ever. networks collectively got $9 billion in upfront commitments, which is advertising dollars that are going to be spent from the end of September, you know, 52 weeks forward. So they're committed for the next year, but now that we're seeing signs of the economic weakness returning once again, how does this cloud the outlook for next year and beyond? Well, for, for an advertising perspective, you can always, uh, advertisers do exercise options. They did that in 2008 when the economy went south, and, and generally content providers like the cable and broadcast networks will, will kind of relieve that, that inventory if, if the advertisers don't have the dollars to, to fund that. But generally speaking, it's, it's, uh, it, it was the strongest marketplace since 2003. It was a very bullish. TNT, TBS, you know, the cable news networks, too, they all got percent double-digit gains. In, in CPMs, and I think that's what's fueling this earnings report. A and lot of that. I'm oh, sorry. No, after you, Scar. A lot of that was due to big hits like Harry Potter or The Hangover 2. Yeah. You can't re replicate that every year. No, you can't. I mean, you know, Time Warner right now, or, or Warner Brothers Studio, has about 18% market share. What's interesting is, is that of their domestic gross box office, half of it's been driven by Hangover 2 and Harry Potter. Uh, you know, the Deathly Hollows part two. So it's a very, uh, they have to get something else. They don't have a deep bench beyond those two. Well, and that's key because you set up difficult comps for next year. And if you're buying a stock base not on the past but the future, that might sit uh, kind of tricky. Well, I think, you know, looking next year, you know, next year's an election year. And CNN and Headline News, you know, has had a pretty good pretty good quarter, a lot of newsworthy events, things with the debt ceiling. Next the year's a political year, right. the earthquake. Next year's a political year. And you see all this attention with the debt ceiling. You know, the Republican primaries and, and debates and all this. I expect that CNN is going to have an increase in, uh, in viewership and ad rates going forward. Wow. Well, Brad Adgate, and I got your name right, Horizon Media, thank you for joining us and shedding a little light on Time Warner.